What's going on, Fabulous? It's Entertainer, Motivator, Educator, Lucky Bird, back with another Gay Cut News update. Today, we're speaking about uh, this topic that I want to talk about. Please stop blaming Marcus Datafield for uh, South Carolina struggles on offense. I think a lot of times fans, they have an unrealistic mindset when it comes to the South Carolina Gamecocks. They want to blame somebody. They want to put the blame on this person. They want to put the blame on this person. They want to do this, things like that. They want to see success like Clemson. And I'm sorry to say, guys, but that is unlikely in year two at South Carolina. When the year before Shea Bieber came, we was a three-win football team, right? And I want to give you guys some numbers, and I want to establish a thing. You know, be patient for the ride. You cannot blame Marcus Tatterfield for every little thing that happens. Because this is a growing process, this is growing things like that. So let's get into it, man. Because I, I get upset every time I'm on social media, I'm looking at at, at boards, and when we're losing, the first thing you hear is fire Marcus Statterfield. And I, I want y'all to see the positive in this because if you look at the numbers, they're not as bad as they 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 once were. If you look at last year, and 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 I want to kind of go over this year for a second. And then we can kind of look at last year's numbers, right? This year, in two games, we had uh, we have uh, 722 total yards. We average at 361 yards a game. Rushing, my 603, 301, that's a huge improvement. Rushing is something that we need to improve on. And I think that they will grow because we got games like SC State. We got games like Vanderbilt. Those numbers will grow along. But as of right now, our numbers looking slightly better than last year. So you're like, Lucky, what did our numbers look like last year? I'm glad you asked. So let's go to 2021 and kind of see where that's at, right? So in 2021, and the season not over, those are two games. We average right around 337 yards a game, right? This number right here. If you look at, I want to I wanna kind of raise me up right there. There we go. If you look at the um, passing yards, we only average 201 yards, passing yards a game. Right now, two games alone, we're up 100 yards from that. And I think it will continue to grow. Rushing, we're at like, we're at like 119 a game. That can improve as well. But we was right at 136. If you look at this this total right here, um, we were we were some of those games were not very pretty games. We had some very you know lopsided games to help us out. So if you look at the overall trajectory of things right now, we will improve on what we didn't do last year. But the main thing I want you guys to understand is this, man: this is a journey, not a sprint, right? This is a marathon, not a sprint. That's what I meant to say. This is a time to really understand that South Carolina was never going to win a national championship this year. South Carolina was never going to shock the nation with Spencer Rattler and come on board and beat Georgia, beat ranked teams like that. Now, will we be able to get into games? Absolutely. The thing is, when you have a transfer of players and when they are, are adjusting to the system, it takes time to gel, right? So, I just want to do my due diligence real quick. I know it's a topical video, but I want you guys to understand that. Listen, man, stop the Shane Beamer, uh, Marcus Dadafield hate. Stop it. Because we don't want to hear it, man. Us true Gamecock fans understand that. Listen, Arkansas is what it is. When we play Georgia, it's going to be is what it is. But I think the main thing is that we want to continue on the road to trajectory. But here's what I need you to do, man. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below, man. Do you think it's Matt Marcus Statterfield fault? But then again, we almost had it. We had a chance to beat Arkansas. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Get us the entertainment motivated educator. Please don't forget all three. Like a very back with another game card news update today, man. Stop with the Marcus Statterfield hate. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. But like always, till next time, people.